Have you ever been to a concert, enjoyed the DJ's music, and wondered about the genre of the song they played? Well, we are here to clear everything up for you. Make sure to watch the whole video as I provide all the information you need. So let's get started. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. We are starting a new series called Bass Face Basics where we make EDM easy for newbies. This is the first video of the series titled What is EDM? We have divided this video into different chapters. So if you are already familiar with any of the mentioned chapters, feel free to skip those parts. Timestamps will be provided in the description box below. However, if you are a total beginner, I recommend watching the entire video. By the end, I will also discuss a genre that is currently booming but might be unknown to many people. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into it. Let's talk about what is EDM. EDM stands for electronic dance music which is a genre of music produced using electronic instruments and technology. EDM is characterized by its repetitive beats designed to get people dancing. Now you might wonder, isn't every song in the world made to make people dance? Now let's explore the evolution of EDM. The roots of electronic dance music can be traced back to the 1970s and 1980s when disco, funk and soul were popular. DJs started experimenting with electronic instruments creating new sounds and rhythms that eventually evolved into EDM. In the late 80s, house music emerged pioneered by DJs like Frankie Knuckles and Juan Actings. In the 90s, EDM gained traction in the UK, spreading across the Europe and North America, giving rise to the rave scene. This is where techno, trance and jungle emerged, each with its unique sound. By the early 2000s, EDM became a global phenomenon with the festivals like German's Love Parade and the UK's Creme Fields drawing massive crowds. DJs like Tiesto, Arvin Van Buren and David Quetta rose to fame, shaping the genre and bringing EDM to the mainstream. Before we delve into the different genres, let's talk about the basic structure of an EDM song. Most EDM songs follow the basic structure of intro, build up, Drop and outro. The intro sets the tone of the track followed by the build-up that creates anticipation for the drop which is the main part of the song. Finally, the outro brings the song to a close. Now let's discuss about BPM or beats per minute. BPM measures how fast the song is and EDM is known for its high BPMs. The average BPM of any EDM genre ranges from 120 to 140 with some genres like hard style having even higher BPM around 150 to 160. If you have made this far you know you have a good understanding of what EDM is. Alright guys, bye.
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. We are now getting into a fun part of the video where we explore the subgenres. Here's where you will discover different artists get music suggestions and hear my favorite tracks that got me into EDM. EDM genres are categorized into house, techno, trance and bass music. However, in this video, we will cover the popular ones that are listened by millions of people. Big Room is a subgenre of EDM that is characterized by its anthemic sound and massive drops. It usually features a 4 on the floor beat and a BPM of around 126 to 132. Artists like Martin Garrix, Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike and WNW are some of the famous names in the Big Room genre. Now let's listen to some Big Room hits. Techno is a subgenre of EDM that is known for its repetitive beats and minimalistic approach. It usually features a BPM of around 120 to 130 and is popular in underground clubs. Some of the most influential techno artists include Carl Clox, Adam Bear, and Jeff Mills. Here are my favorite techno tracks. Trance is a subgenre of EDM that is characterized by its melodic uplifting sound. It usually features a BPM around 130 to 140 and is popular in festivals. Some of the most popular trance artists include Arvin Van Buren, Mark Sisma, Paul Van Dyke, and Above and Beyond. Let's listen to some trance music drops.
Dubstep is a genre of EDM that emerged in the UK in the early 2000s. It is characterized by its use of its heavy bass line, aggressive rhythms, and dramatic drops. The BPM of dubstep is anywhere between 140 to 170. Some of the artists you can look after are Knife Party, Skrillex, Nero, Exession, Snails, and Zomboy. Let's now listen to some dubstep music. Future bass is a subgenre of EDM that is characterized by its use of heavy bass line and melodic synth hooks. It usually features a BPM around 140 to 160 and has gained popularity in the recent years. Some of the most popular future bass artists include Flume, San Holo, and Marshmallow. Let's listen to some future bass tracks. Art style is a subgenre of EDM that is characterized by its aggressive beats and disordered bass lines. It usually features a BPM around 150 to 160 and is popular in festivals. Some of the most popular hardstyle artists include Headhunters, Burnin Heart, Poon, Wild Styles, and The Tweakers. Let's listen to some hardstyle hits.
Remember I talked about the booming genre that only few people know? Yes, this is the genre I was talking about. The Future Rave. Future Rave is a sub-genre of EDM that has a blend of big room and hard style. It has a futuristic sound and it's designed to be played in the large venues. It usually features a BPM of around 128 to 132. Some of the most popular Future Rave artists include David Guetta, Hardwell, Maddox and Morton. Let's listen to some future rave tracks. In conclusion, EDM is a diverse and ever-evolving genre of music that has something for everyone. Whether you prefer high energy beats of big room or the melodic sound of a trance, there is a sub-genre of EDM that will suit your taste. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like this video. We are going to continue the series with getting deep into each genres of EDM. So stay tuned. Until then, keep listening, keep exploring. Bye.